Hi everyone. Uh, today in our session, we'll talk about how to create a cascade selector uh, using SAP business object dashboards. A cascade selector is a selector that its values will change uh, dynamically based on other selectors' values. So in this example here, I have continents, country, state, and city. When I change continent here, the country, state, and city will change accordingly. So here in South America, I have the, uh, Brazil and Argentina. And if I selected Argentina, I will see states under Argentina. If I change it to Brazil, I can see states under Brazil. And so if I select one of the states, the city will change accordingly. In this session, we will learn how to do that using uh, one of the features of the combo box, which uh, called filtered rows. Uh, let's have a look first on the data that we will use in uh, this example. Here, I have the raw data here the content, country, state, and city. And here we have a list of the content for each content, what is the countries, what is the states, and what is the cities. And here I created three main uh, lists. One will be the dynamic list for the country list because this list will change based on the selected continent. The state list will change uh, uh, dynamically based on the country list based on the selected country and city list will be changed dynamic dynamically to uh, list the cities under the selected state so let's start uh, doing our example first I need to drag four combo box here I, uh, I will go under components under selectors I can see combo box here I will drag one and I will make multiple copies of this combo box four copies because we want four combo box boxes one for contents one for country one for state and one for city now let's take the content one I will uh, start by uh, map or link the title for each combo box here this is uh, should be, uh, so should represent the content continent uh, list so I go in the title I will select continent in the second one here I will map the title to country the third one I will map it to state and the latest one I will map it to city the title I will link title to city Okay, now let's just enhance the layout here. I will select all of them. I will try to align them on top. And I will try to distribute or space eventually across the canvas. Now I have it neatly here. Uh, and the layout is, uh, is more clear now. Let's start with the first list. Here in the content one, I need to select my labels from here, from the raw data that I have here under the content column. As you see, because I didn't uh, set the default selection for my continent uh, uh, draw a combo box, I need to do it from here. Go to behavior and in the selected items here, I need to make the default selected one to be label one. Okay, now the uh, default selected one is North America. And I need to uh, select ignore blank cells. This option will help you to ignore blank cells at the end of range. So if I have bl blank cells at the end of my range, it will not display it as a blank it will not show this option now let's try to preview this I make a preview here because I want you to see here the continents will be duplicates because it will take it as it is from 
zero data that I have and this is what we uh, want to avoid I want only the content to show one this, uh, uh, this uh, issue can be fixed here by selecting in the insertion type we need to select filtered rows in the filtered rows it work like this it let's say I, w I, I will click here in the information box this information box is available with, uh, with the complex features come with SAP business objects dashboards so if you uh, see this and you want to uh, remember how this feature is work you can just click on this one and it will give you like a wizard the filter draws option work like this if you have here like a key and this key will uh, not a key not a, a, a column that will have a values and you have here for example I selected A from the drop down menu it will filter all rows that start with A if I select B it will filter all rows that start with B and if I selected C it will uh, insert all rows that start with C into the destination cells and this is what we want to accomplish now I will select the source data all this range, the all row data that I have and I want to insert them into this yellow list the yellow uh, the yellow bar here is the target for the first combo box and it will be the source or the labels for the second combo box here so let's uh, see if this really remove the duplicates that I have in the first uh, combo box yes now I have only three continent North America, South America and Europe now I need to link the country combo box with the destination of the continent combo box let's select the country combo box we will do exactly the same labels here should come from the country column here this column will be the destination of the first content combo box I will select this column only G, uh, column G and of course if I now try to preview it will come with my, uh, with, uh, with duplicated uh, country so I need to do the same and to uh, select here the filtered rows insertion type in the source ah, here I need only to select the content uh, we know that we already selected the content now I need to take my source data to be the last three columns because this will this one will be inserted in the destination for the state combo box this is the source and the destination will be the green area here try to make sure that the source and destination have the same size uh, the source here is three columns so the destination here should be also three columns it will not be possible or it will give you an error message if you try to insert in uh, a smaller uh, 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 if you try to insert three columns in two columns and so on now I need also to adjust here the uh, ignore blank cells yes because here in this case I will get some black cells at the end and here I will make it dynamic I will make a, a separate session for the selected item uh, that I, the default uh, selection for items uh, now let's try and see if this will work yes North America now and have here USA and Mexico if I change to South America I will have Brazil and Argentina and if I selected Europe I will see France and Germany we need to do exactly the same with the other uh, combo box so let's do it together here in the state let's try to do it together I will take labels from the this one the green one and I will select the insertion type to be filtered rows 
and I will take my source these two columns state and city and in the destination one I will link the last list that I will have the city list and I will click OK finally I need to ignore values at the end of the range and select dynamic and finally I need to map city here all what I need because I will not go any duplicates here and I know that this is the final list of cities that uh, based on the selected state so just I need to make like this and there is no insertion here because this is the last combo box uh, of course in the uh, in your solution you may need to insert somewhere but here I will not uh, insert uh, or make any data insertion uh, series I will just select from here ignore values at end of range and here I will make it dynamic let's check if this will work yes and this is what we trying to do if I select North America this is all, uh, all the countries that I have under North America this is all cities available under USA New York, Florida, California and uh, because New York is the selected state I have here two cities under New York state which is New York and Philadelphia if I change the state the list of cities will be updated and will display the corresponding list of cities if I change the country the list of states and list of cities will update uh, will be updated accordingly and finally if I change the content all the uh, other three combo box will be updated accordingly finally before we close the session I want you know, to know uh, why we used uh, ignore uh, values at end of range to, get to understand this let's take this city list ok I will try here to put uh, another selector which is list list view and in, list, in this list view I will try to display all the values here in this table in the cities table and let's uh, preview this as you can see here because New York is the selected one I have New York City and Philadelphia cities and all the remaining cities in the range are blank and I didn't get any blank here in the cities list if I remove this option I will get blank in this list and this is what we are trying to avoid here if I remove this option ignore blank cells and uh, we are trying to preview now as you can see here all the blank cells at end of the range will be displayed and to avoid this uh, we need to make sure that we selected this option ignore blank cells at end of range only uh, thank you for watching and I hope that you like this session and find it useful please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, if you have any comments uh, please don't uh, hesitate to add your comments below and I will uh, try to reply it as soon as possible also if you find it useful and you want more information you can buy my book uh, learning SAP business objects dashboards uh, from Amazon or from Packity publication site you can find the link in the description below and uh, I wish you a nice time thank you for watching